Good evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Oh, I've been a bit nervous about going live, but I decided that I would do it, you know? Because there's no point in just sitting there watching myself <laughs> with my fucking model loaded and just chilling. So I thought I'd play a bit of Honkai. <sighs> oh, damn it. I, re <laughs> I was really hoping that I wouldn't um, be in the minus. But I guess that's fine. <laughs> I guess I can go back down to Agony 1 again. I just can't seem to um get past it. Can I upgrade anything? Damn it. Not right now, I guess. Doesn't seem like gonna go well. I'll give it a shot anyway. Now why, why hasn't my stream changed tabs? Why has that happened? <laughs> why are my buttons not working in the way that I want them to? Odd. I shall have to just do it manually, I guess. Fucking weird. Anyway. Oh shit, I need to break shields. Why is it so difficult to break shields? Why is she the only good shield breaker that I have? It's such BS. <laughs> there we go, there's the shield gone. And I do not get that bonus damage. Annoying. God damn. I thought that other one would have been way lower. I need her weapon so that I can properly combo with her because I'm missing out on a full attack there. Come on. 
she seems like the best option. Honestly. I think I should just swap from Senti to um, Prometheus. I think that's my optimal outcome, sadly. My physical team really should be better. Fucking hell. How does she obliterate that well? Okay, yeah, I've really fucked this one. Every time I dodge, what happens? Um, bonus is five less until the end of stage. Cool. Sounds fun. Shit, I need to break shields in six seconds or I don't get the bonus attack. That had to have been six seconds. Please say that was six seconds. I need that bonus attack. Nice crit in. I'm not getting that in 30 seconds. I don't think I'm even getting my previous score in 30 seconds. It's just not doable, because I didn't use Prometheus at the start. Completely my fault though, honestly. Oh, I couldn't even get that last attack in. Bullshit. Yeah, that's not enough. Fucking 408. I'm trying again. This time I'm going to use Prometheus from the start. So bang, Prometheus. Right off the bat. Break that shield, pull them in, make sure that shield's fully broken on both of them, I think it is, but I just need that um, QTP so I can get that full combo, fuck she's not got all. it's fine, still saving time. Went this far last time. Come on. 
get that QT in there. Just God knows it's doing more damage than Santi's ult for some reason. Fuck, that's not six seconds. Damn it. That's definitely over six seconds. Fucking motorpy. Be a bit louder, would you? <laughs> it's fucking Bronny riding down my street. There we go, we got Prometheus in again. God. That was so little damage. Why is she doing so little Oh, because I didn't get the six seconds. I forgot about that. <laughs> Come on, Santiot should do some damage. Holy shit. That was nothing. Come on. This feels further ahead though. I feel like I'm doing a lot better. I could also be completely wrong though. Okay, now I can't even fill out most of it. It's fine. I can do it on the second round. And then I can all Yeah? Yeah. That makes so much sense. Because last round I was ulting every time. And this time... I'm not for some reason. I'm confused. Because she doesn't do enough damage with a regular attack, rarely. So I need that good, good combo. Fucking hell, just floor two. Uh, oh, but floor two's this. Fuck, how'd I... How'd I get hit by that? Nope. Get the fuck over here. Shit, they're not over. Come on. Break, 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 break. Is that fast enough? That wasn't fast enough. That did not feel fast enough. Okay, maybe ult. No. I'll ult next time so I can get that full combo. Boom, boom. Hand. I don't know the hand. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> They're just eating my attacks. Come on, this time. Dead? How do you have more shield? Oh no. Not broken fast enough. Damn. I hate shield breaks so bad. Such a fucking tricky thing. You're all thin. Hey, welcome in. How's your day going? Hope it's going good. I'm absolutely failing this game currently. Oh, I'm doing good. I've decided to stream once in a blue moon again.
didn't even catch up to what I was before. <sighs> it's impossible. I don't even know how I got 4,800, honestly. Way too difficult. Can I do this? Because I've still got attempts left on this. I'm not doing that team. <laughs> I'm doing Santi. Santi for the win. <laughs> yeah, um, I do play Star Rail 2. I've not streamed it before, but I love Star Rail. I'm saving for Kafka currently. But who the hell isn't? <laughs> oh, I need to parry. Weird. Forgot about this. What is this? <laughs> okay. I've been frozen. Cool. You got blade. Um, I purposefully missed him because I want to be able to get Kafka and her light cone because I haven't been able to get any character specific light cone yet. And I've got Seire. I've got Bronya, and I really want Kafka and her light cone, so I've saved up like 90 pulls or something like that, and I'm really hoping that that's enough, but it, it might not be. <laughs> that might only be enough to get Kafka, which I'm scared about. It'd be nice to get like Kafka twice, because I've got Silver Wolf too. I almost forgot about that. Am I on a 50-50? What? Mm, I don't know. Honestly. I can't remember. I've not checked my pulls in a while. I honestly might be, which is... Terrifying. Because <laughs> um, I've luckily got every character that I've wanted, mostly. I did get Yan Jing twice when I didn't want him, but that's fine. You've, <laughs> you've only just realised you've played this before, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty lucky. Honestly. Oh fuck, I got remorse twice. You recognise the girl with the paintbrush? Oh! That's cool. She's quite a late addition to the game. Well, not late, but... You know. Oh, it's hot. I'm just going to go turn a fan on. I hope... It... Tell me if the fan is too disturbing for the mic, then I can turn it off, but I'm getting a bit hot, so... Long enough ago for you to forget. Yeah, it was probably like... I don't know, a year ago now? Yeah, just tell me if the fan is too noisy because um, I ain't not too long ago so I feel a tiny bit sick, so... It's nice to have the fan on. Oh god. Okay, that's good. Oh 
Oh god, Senti's gonna die. That's not good. Um, I used to play Genshin, but it got on my nerves a little bit, honestly. The story was a bit too, um, drawn out, you know? I got Mona, and I was happy then, but since, I've kind of gone off it. Yeah, when they um when they added that big pit in the middle of Sumeru and I don't know what the other place is, but that big hole that you go into, I quit then because I just hated it. It was so annoying. Yeah, I really hated it and I tried to do it and I even modded the game so that I could get a map but I, it was still confusing as hell and I just really didn't enjoy it and I was really angry and I was just like, yep, yeah, I'm not enjoying this game anymore, I'm just quitting. I cannot be bothered with this. Anything that's annoying me this much is not worth my time. <laughs> so I just dropped it. And it wasn't that difficult because I'd never actually spent any money on that game. I have with Star Rail and I have with Honkai. But I also enjoy these games a lot more. <laughs> so I like the play style, I like the way that the story happens. Yeah, it's just how it is. Um, I don't know what happened though because... I enjoyed Genshin when it first came out. It was really good when it first came out. I was really hyped. And then... I don't know, I think it was a mix of... Like... Fan stuff... And just the way that the game's handled. The way that it plays. Like, And it's weird because I really liked Breath of the Wild too. So it isn't the open world aspect. Because I love the open world aspect of Breath of the Wild. And I really want to get into um, Tears of the Kingdom. But it was just so, like, I don't know, complex. It was too complex, but also not. Like, with, um, do you know those, um, oh, I forgot what they're called. When you, those things are used to upgrade your elements for Lumin or Aether. Whatever those you get to give to the tower, those were a real struggle to find. And like I tried to I tried to mod for that too. Because some um, there's a there's a map mod that can, you can use to like map them all out. Oh I ran out of time I think. Oof. <laughs> that makes sense though, because this is um triple S. So quite difficult. I don't think I'm triple S. Yeah, I hated those. I hated that system. Like the way they upgrade in this, it's just simple. <laughs> Fisher. <laughs> I've got a bit of Genshin wherever I go. <laughs> um, yeah, the way you upgrade in this is, um, characters have specific weapons. And these are like Lycones or Relics or whatever. And then in Genshin, these are like the weapons. Yeah, it is a. It was overwhelming for me to start off with too, because when you go here and you click Forge and then you click back, there's just so many weapons. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, I'm having. I'm having a meltdown. 
which ones work with which characters. <laughs> but luckily, I got this character's specific weapon, which is great. Because um, I think she's the first character that I got a character exclusive weapon for, and I've been playing this game for years. And n recently after I got that, I got these, which are also this character's specific weapon, and... Oh my god, I love this character so much. She's so cool. It's so difficult pulling in this though. I think... In terms of Hoyoverse games, Genshin is the hardest to pull. Because it's the hardest to get gems in Genshin. Genshin is a fucking hellhole. In this, it's a bit easier. Yeah, the the character designs are peak. They are so good. Um, it's a it's it's easier. It's like the middle because Star Rail Star Rail is absolutely amazing for gems. It's so easy to save up gems in Star Rail, and it's it's a bit less easy in this game. It's still pretty easy, and they have lots of different supply options. For Gacha, yeah, I love Star Rail so much for its generosity. It's it's the first Gacha game that I felt like they actually wanted people to be able to get characters in it. <laughs> that also aren't wailing, you know? So good. I need some water. It's got... It has got a good story. It's got a great story. It's a bit strange at the start. The first couple chapters, I... Okay, so the first couple chapters, I either wasn't paying attention well enough, or it just wasn't as interesting as the rest of it, but, let's see, um, that's the first chapter, very ordinary, um, second chapter, I think about chapter five, it gets quite interesting, and then past that, it's pretty damn good. And then around about here, it gets really good. And really fun, kind of. Like, it's, it's good story, but it's got some sad moments. Got some death. And, um... Yeah, it is quite, it's, it's quite, um, Drujwin after a bit. It's got very, um, good characters, good character designs, good story, pretty good villains too. I'm on, I'm not on the new story, which is annoying because I've had to grind so much to get this story. Since that's released, I've grinded through all of this, chapter 29 to 31. Yeah, Genshin... I don't think Genshin's killed anyone off yet. <laughs> I don't think they have, yeah. I think, um... Actually, no, they did kill someone off. They killed Signora off. That's the one death that's happened, I think. Signora was pretty sad because she's hot, but, <laughs> but that's about it. I'm pretty sure anyway. Venti didn't die, I don't think. I think Signora just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's the only person who's died. 
But she wasn't a main character. There's one main character that has died, and there's a main villain that dies. Actually, quite a few main villains die. Main villains die. I don't know if Genshin does that. No, because Wanderer didn't die, I don't think. I haven't seen that, but I think he turns over a new leaf or something. And A didn't die. And she was kind of a villain. Only the, like, creatures die. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think Genshin's a bit scared to kill off characters. Which is kind of funny. Because it shows a stark difference between these two games. Oh, I, I just remembered. So many people die in this game. I was so sad. It was so sad because it's such good characters that die. And you just have to be there. You know, you just have to see the characters and watch them interact and then watch them die. And it's so sad. Oh yeah, Genshin fans are like insane. <laughs> Honestly. But like some of them are decent. There's a there's a there's a few good apples in the in the rotten apple tree. <laughs> I think the only good ones are the fucking fan artists. <laughs> Oh yeah, also, a big point about this game is most of the characters are, are gay, or implied to be gay. Like, um, those two. Actually, those three on that loading screen, all kind of gay. Um, the one on the far right, Bronya, um, kissed Seire. Because, um, if you didn't know, both of those were in this game before Star Rail, which is cool. Exactly. Genshin is so scared of having relation. Actually, I think Beido and that white-haired woman are gay. But I think that's it. And it might be hinted that, well, I ship Keijing and Ganyu. I don't know if that's canon. But I ship it. I think it's a great ship. I think I think they're great together. But I don't know if it's canon. Yeah, in the manga for Honkai Impact, Bronya and Sele do kiss. But I don't know if they do in the game. Because I think I think that happened in the manga way earlier. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's that's to pretty be presumed. Because Chinese censorship is pretty harsh on LGBTQ stuff. And I think that's why in the game, it kind of does imply a bit less than the um, manga. But in the manga, they're like, yeah, the game. I think it's just for publicity, for the Chinese market. Well, you know, at least we've got the characters that we can ship. I think that's um, at least a bright side to it. Like, I wish, I wish it did. Obviously, I wish it was canon. It'd be so good for them to actually confirm it. But, you know, it's to be expected in a Chinese market. Well, it's gonna do, I can do Elysian Realm. I can try it, at least. She's gay. With her. Those who are so gay. Oh yeah, have um have a good rest of your day.
thanks for joining for the time that you were here. It was nice talking to you. Oh, I forgot. She she uses evasion skills. I need to use, I need to evade. <laughs> yeah, have a good rest of your day. Oh, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I hope you can come round again sometime. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Kaon's so cute. I actually got the, um... I've got the Blu-ray. Or at least I've got the disc of Kaon. Love that. And I've got the film too. Apparently though, the fan base for Kaon is a bit like... 1980s Germany supporters. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that guy's name on Twitch, so I'm not gonna, but apparently a big fan base is a bit anti-Semitic, which was really sad to hear because I love Kaon. Black hole. God, I need to rewatch that at some point soon. I miss that show. Oh, it's such a fucking top tier anime. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to be able to enjoy Honkai. I mean, not Honkai. Genshin again. When they release that fucking anime. When they release that Ufotable anime. Oh my god, Ufotable. I need to... I need to watch Unlimited Blade Works. Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. I can't believe I've not watched that yet. I've watched the first film. And I've just not watched the second one. Or the third. There are three Unlimited Blade Works. Not Unlimited Blade Works. Heaven's Feel. Heaven's Feel. That's what it's called. Heaven's Feel. There are three Heaven's Feel films, and I've watched one a year ago. Absolutely silly. Shit, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it again. Why are you so difficult, Kiana? Why can you not beat this third tier? Am I doing something wrong? Am I? Am I not evading enough? I feel like I'm not evading enough. Because I have no Sakura signets on the bottom of my screen, and I feel like I should. <laughs> like what? And I am using... I am using the game's... free trial character, yeah. Which is better than my character. 1000 damage. How are you not winning? How am I not winning? View signets. Calpus. So health loss. That's obvious for her. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why do we have... Calpus, who revolves around damage taken, 
and health loss, and then Fu Hua, who revolves around not taking damage. Because that's, that's what her build is, right? It's, it's not taking damage. So I've got evasion. Evasion skill boost. Not taking damage and taking damage. I'm trying again. I'm being stubborn. I'm figuring this shit out. <laughs> so I need to not take damage and evade and take damage. <laughs> Am I right about that assumption game? Do I take damage? Do I not take damage? And also... I have to evade. That's the one, like, truth that this game is telling me right now. Evade, and take damage, and don't take damage, and while I'm at it, I should just fucking stop trying this, because I'm not going to be able to beat it, because I don't think I can at my current skill level, and I know that's insane to say, because I've been playing this game for, like, three, four years? Since, since like, way before, like, oh, what's it called? APHO2? A post, a po a post, APHO2. A post Honkai, o that's what it's called, a post Honkai Odyssey. I've been playing this game since before a post Honkai Odyssey 2 came out, which was a which was kind of a while ago too. Actually, I think I was around when a post Honkai Odyssey 1 came out, which was way early in the game. So I don't know I don't know how I don't know how to play this one character that's been around for like two years now. Maybe one. Maybe one. I don't know. She's kind of new. Oh my god, I'm not getting the full thing again. This game doesn't like me. This game doesn't want me to beat this. It's... it's cock blocking me. It's boob blocking me. It's... it's... Punani Enjoyer blocking me. <laughs> God, that is a fucking... insane thing to say. <laughs> Punani blocking. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, please, please. Why is the health bar going up so fast? Stop, 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 stop. It's not fair. I cannot... Okay, this is a severe waste of time. I've got 40 seconds to get that health bar down again. And I did just contemplate quitting. <laughs> but, you know, I've, I've sunk cost fallacy. I don't want to quit because I've already put so much time into trying to do it. That I feel like I have to do it. Because if I don't do it now, I'm going to have to do it later. And I don't want to do it later, I want to do it now. Like, come on, come on, come on. I've got 10, I've got 15 seconds to do like, oh my god, I've got 15 seconds to do like 15 health bars. Because I've got the 9 health bars here, and then I've got the shell health bars. No, this is the shell, the core health bars. Which is like five right now, or three, or some shit. I. <sighs> this is like the best way to get gems, too. Because. Look at that. It gives you so many gems. It gives you three. That, this is like the max. It gives you like 200 here. But I can't claim anymore. Because I've already got all of these. And you only unlock one per Monday. 
and you can only hold one key, which it, which leads you to believe you should be able to get everyone that you have already unlocked because you get one a week, one a week. But the problem there is when you have two characters that you have unlocked, you can do that once a week. But then once you've done that, you go a week and you're like, oh, I've got a key. Who am I going to unlock? No one because I don't have a battle suit. And then it goes a week and you're like, oh, I've missed out because... I don't have any more battle suits. And then you go a month and you're like, oh my god, I've missed so many that I could have unlocked. I could have all of these. I could have all of these because it's been a year. And the, my only problem is that I haven't unlocked them. I don't have them. I haven't, I haven't pulled them in the gacha beforehand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the developer of this game. Let's do this. Let's see if I can beat Inferno fully and claim this. 80 plus. Because what? Oh shit. I clicked off of my monitor. <laughs> okay, so 33, 6, 12. Fucking hell, I can't do my 8 times tables. Oh, fuck it. I, I can't be asked. <laughs> it's 500 in total if you get up to 18,000. But to do 18,000, you need corruption. You need to beat corruption, which is 2.5 times the score, but also 2.5 times the difficulty. And that's the problem. Because I can't do that. <laughs> Wait, is it Inferno or Shroud? It's not Shroud, I've beaten Shroud, it's Inferno. I always just choose random ones here, but I'll just go with the ones that I've already chosen randomly. Maybe I should go with different characters too. Like, no one, because I can't be asked to read their information, because I'm an- I'm- I'm lazy. Oh, I could go Santi. I could. I've never gone Santi before. In in this way, I always go May on this. Wait, let's pull it up. I always go May on this and this. Can't do that anymore because that's just the story. I've finished the story. So I, I need to I need to try a different character out. I'm using Kalpus. I could go her. She's imaginary. I've never used her before. I'm gonna go Santi. She isn't doing as much damage as Thingy. But I'm thinking that I can compensate for that by her being a better character in general because <laughs> her battle suit is so good it's so good like it's amazing well it's not it's not the best actually it is number one played currently oh, when it comes to more passion I'd never I'm I'm gobsmacked by that because I'd say they're equal. Kalpus has his never-ending rage, and Alicia has her never-ending love for all women. <laughs> Let's go with that. I didn't read any of it, but that's just how I play. I don't read because I have ADHD. Maybe. I know I have autism. I may have ADHD. And I just can't. I just can't sit there and just read something that big. It just, it just fucks with me. I just can't comprehend how someone could sit through that boring little reading task. I'll just fucking click on whatever has the biggest numbers and hopefully... <laughs> It's good, or I'll watch a video telling me which ones to use, because they're apparently good, and then I'll just use them. 
like I do with Kalpas, because I never used to use Kalpas, because I was like, oh, I don't really like his character. And then I used his signet, and I was like, I kind of like his character now. He's kind of, he's kind of cool and angry all the time, and I get that. I get that. Honestly, I get that, because the world is a fucking horrible place. But, what, what, what the fuck was I saying? What the fuck was I saying? Yeah, I just can't, I can't read properly. I have reading problems. Maybe I have dyslexia too, because I can't read words properly either. I'm just, I'm just a different breed. I have concentration issues. I, I fucking got a mic on recently, and I, I needed help with that because I just couldn't read the instructions because I didn't have the patience to just look at the like five, five different instruction parts. I just can't concentrate, dude. I just can't. I, I have, I have, I have such bad concentration issues. And the only thing that I've been offered by the doctors is antidepressants, and I don't want to take those, because I'm not depressed. And also, I know that they can be very heavily, um... Well, I mean, not heavily addictive. They're very difficult to come off when you're on them, because your brain gets used to them, and then it's, like, really difficult to get off them. I know that, because my mom is on them, because she has it. <laughs> And, um, yeah, that's just... I don't have depression. They offered it me for my eating disorder, and I'm like, no, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. How is that gonna help? How, how is antidepressants gonna cure my eating disorder? You are freaks. Do you just not know what to give me, so you're offering me antidepressants and you can't help me in any other way? Like, God, get some education. I thought you already did. You're a doctor. You're a doctor. How don't you... How don't you understand... Shit. Like, why, why do I go to the doctor and... And they're just like, yeah, um, I don't know what your symptoms are. I'm gonna Google it, and then I'll tell you what I've Googled. And then I'll tell you to take antidepressants even though you're not depressed and you don't really need them. Because what benefit will they have to you, apart from curing your non-existent depression that you don't have? Like, come on, offer me a different tablet for, like, autism or ADHD or something that isn't depression, because I don't have depression. Why, why are you giving me antidepressants? <laughs> like, you're a doctor. You should know more than one tablet. Ah, uh, I need to back off. I need to back off. Because they are both... Just respawning every time I kill them, and I need to damage them both simultaneously. And hopefully not get too many crits on one specific one, so that I can kill them both relatively at the same time. There we go. No, 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 please die, please die, please perish, perish, please perish. Oh. Oh. That's a good moment. I will consume everything, Kalpas. Consume that fucking dick, too. I've seen you in a fucking dress. I know what you can pull. Slay king, queen, etc. <laughs> I know you can pull off a dress. You can pull off my dress, too. You know what? When I first met Kalpas in the story, I didn't like him that much. After I got to know him in the story, and especially the end of the Elysium Realm story, I he, he was great. I really liked his character because he felt so he, he felt so good. He was such a good boy. <laughs> Honestly, he's a good boy, and he's really caring. 
in a weird way. The, at the start, you wouldn't really think that he's that caring. But he is. He really does care about people. And it may be difficult to see that from his actions, but he really does care about all the other flame chasers in his own special little angry way. <laughs> I think Mobius is the only one that he could have bad taste with because Mobius is a fucking specimen in the Elysium Realm. I don't know if she was outside of the Elysium Realm. I think she got worse in the Elysium Realm. Or maybe not, because I think I skipped over some of her story because she, she was a bit annoying. But then, after a bit, I was like, she's a bit annoying, but she's also hot. And I kind of, that kind of dismisses it a bit. But then also, it's like, when people are like, simping over Otto, I'm like, why are you simping over Otto? He's so mean. But also, I, I can slightly forgive him because he literally created Kiana. He made her. Oh my god, I just realised. Kiana is a clone of Durandal. Then... Is it possible that she won't be in Star Rail? Because that would mean Otto would have had to clone Durandal again. Or maybe it's just that... In other universes, she wasn't a clone. She's just... Kiana, but that would mean that... It's just Durandal because she's a clone, but, but, like, wait, no, because Durandal has, doesn't have memories of a child, didn't have memories of a childhood, Kiana did, so technically Kiana is the original, and Durandal isn't because she grew up without those memories, but physically, Durandal would be Kiana. Why is this so confusing? Why am I looping in a circle on who Kiana is and who would be Kiana in Star Rail? They could both exist in Star Rail because they're both fucking characters. Oh, I hope Siren gets in Star Rail. That would be so good. She deserves a better end than what she did in the manga. And in, in her eruption. She 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 had such horrible treatment on this in this universe. She deserved so much better. She deserves to be happy with Bella or someone. Come on, Calpers. Yep, another Calpers. Another a fucking a Calpers. The only fucking Calpus fucking Calpus is going to be doing tonight is fucking me. <laughs> God. I think Calpus is one of the main males that I like in this game, other than Welt. Welt is good too. But that's mainly just because I like him in Star Rail. And it is grown on me here too, because of that. Because I didn't really like him before Star Rail. Because I was just kind of like, oh, get men out of this game because... This is a gay game. I want lesbians, not men. But then I'm like, oh, but Calvus is kind of cool, and Welt's kind of cool, and 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 maybe there are other cool guys that are kind of submissive and breedable, or DILFs, <laughs> because I have parental issues, like Mommy Himako, Daddy Welt. <laughs> um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What, what the fuck was I saying? I cannot think of it. Oh, my feet are hot. I think it's because I've been too excitable. Goddamn health problems. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill my health problems. And by that I mean I'm gonna kill my health. <laughs> Yatta! God, I need to work on voice training. Because I cannot go much higher than this. I can go up to around about here. But I don't know if that sounds good. I don't know if this sounds good or not. 
because I can't hear my own voice that much and I can't tell if it sounds shit or really cute and I would love to know because I'm kind of insecure about my voice so good on me for choosing streamer as a hobby right why did I fucking choose streamer how about you stream your piss in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm a bit on hinge today. Does that just sound like I've covered up my nose and I'm doing a clown voice? Hello? No, it doesn't. That sounds completely different. That's a clown voice. This is a more high pitched voice that isn't that bad, but I think it could definitely be better. But it's not the worst. I don't know. I don't know if it's the worst. It might be horrible. I can't tell. Tell me. Tell me if it is or not. I'm going to make this a TikTok so that people can fucking tell me if that's a good starting place. I'd love some help. <laughs> and I hope people don't fucking just insult me. Because, oh my god, the anti-trans um, rhetoric is appalling recently. You know, I can deal with it though. I can deal with it. I never leave my fucking house, so how's anyone gonna fucking attack me? <laughs> oh, people can attack me online. But, at least no one's gonna physically attack me. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Oh, do I have a laugh track on this fucking soundboard? Um, good enough, eh? Good enough? I'm getting sued by Nintendo. <laughs> oh, that's a copyright strike and a half. <laughs> oh, fucking Nintendo. At least it wasn't a song, right? They would have fucking hated that. Showing interest in Nintendo products, Nintendo won't have that. Playing a Nintendo game on stream that has a, a slight, slight mod on it that doesn't really change it that much, you're getting a lawsuit. <laughs> Create a mod, you're getting your YouTube channel taken down. And we're also going to sue you. Nintendo needs to check what they shoved up their asses and pull out the fucking fat dildo that they shoved up there. Cause, oh my god, they need to sort their priorities out. Cause do they want people to play their games and show publicity to them? Or do they want people to not and be scared of the company? Oh, you know what they should do? They should make VTubers! Yes! Because that's never gone wrong. Corporate VTubers! <laughs> I've never heard of a single controversy to do with the corporate or indie VTuber ever. <laughs> I've never heard of corporate VTubers being racist or anything of the sort. Or, or, or like, anti-Semitic, or anti-literally everything, anti-life, just anti-like, people living. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm anti-life. I just want everyone to die. <laughs> Half of the humanity doesn't deserve to exist. And that's why I am an adult. Because I was born this way. And also, I hate humanity. <laughs> Cruel beings. Evil creatures. We 
We are literally creatures born of hate and... I mean, you, your creatures are born of evil and hate. And also deforestation. Which I, as an elf, do not like. <laughs> Boom. That is a big rock. <laughs> no, hold the button down. Game, please listen to my inputs. I know I'm using a PS4 controller. Maybe you want me to be using a PS5 controller. I don't have that kind of money coming out of my ass. Like Nintendo does. They could buy a fucking... Country, honestly, actually, yeah, they could. They could buy a country. You know, I was being dramatic. They could buy a country, a small one, probably, but they could buy one. No, use the use the tower. Oh my god, that was only. I don't think I'm getting through Inferno with Sandy. Uh, or at least this version of Senti, because I think if I had more attack on her, I would be able to. I don't know why I tried a harder difficulty with a character that I've never used before, and also don't really know how to build in Elysian Realm. Because that's the, that's the most important part about Elysium. Everlasting. I wish, I wish, I wish I could relive that for the first time again. That story, that story was so good. Oh my god. I miss Alicia, and I miss Pardo, and I miss Eden, and I, I miss Alicia and Eden's, like, gay tension. Well, less tension and more just, like, kind of almost openly gay fully. But also, her being kind of gay for May too. She just loves everyone. Especially if they're women. But she also loves men too. In a more platonic way. Honestly. I do think it's more platonic when she confesses her love to men. Because she's such a gay icon. She acts gay, she looks gay, she is gay. And... When I see people ship her with Kevin, with Bebin, I'm just like, oh my god. Have you, have you seen the story? Have you seen where Alicia and Eden met, met Eden, Eden, I don't know how to say her name. She could be the Garden of Eden for all I know. She could be Eden D's Nuts. <laughs> Come on, big rock. Big Raggy rock. Come on. Let's get this fucking floor over with. Finally, please. These are the last two enemies of this floor. And I've got them in a corner. I'm just beating the shit out of them senselessly. Barely doing any damage. Please, Kalpas. I need your fucking signets so I can finally do this shit. I need your signets. And maybe... Um... I may also need... Blood boil every 10 seconds. And another 3 points per second every 100 HP loss. Valkyrie's HP cannot exceed 18%. Um, if the HP recovery in combat reaches zero, 400, 800, the recovery amount rises. Terms of blood boil armor, charges, blah, 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 blah. I am going to choose the top one. 
I don't, uh, yeah. I chose, the, I chose the top one last time and I didn't really regret it. Too much. Anyway, I didn't regret it too much. But I might regret it because I've never used Senti with this bell. Or at all, like I said. I've not used her at all yet. Alt! Oh my god, she doesn't have her ult yet. It's 125, I think. 125 is her ult. And now, I'm gonna have her ult twice. Because I am a swagged out bitch. And I can do what I want. And after this stream, I'm going to fucking have a meal. And then I'm going to watch Mushko Tensei, the fucking school arc, which is going to be so good because, oh my god, why did they give Rudeus erectile dysfunction? That is so just like, oh my god, why did they do that? It's such an, it's such an insane plot point that's driving the plot currently. And I hope it stops soon, like very soon. Like, immediately. Like, so soon that it, it feels like it didn't even happen, you know? It's such an insane plot point. And it all stems from a misunderstanding from Rudeus. It's so, I hate when stories have such big misunderstandings and then explicitly don't, like, fix the misunderstandings in the ways that it could be fixed very easily. Because that misunderstanding, oh my god, you know, just don't leave a note. Just, or, or, or be more clear in the note that you wrote to him. Like, oh my god, did you really just leave that as a note and be like, he'll get it, he's smart, because he's very good at magic. No, he's a fucking incel. He's literally an incel. You cannot leave an incel a note saying, yeah, I'm leaving, and I just had sex with you the night before, and now I'm leaving without saying goodbye to you. Um, and then expect them to think that, they're not gonna think that you just hate them <laughs> because um i'm sorry to say he does not have the self-esteem to keep up with that <laughs> he he is he's he's heavily depressed especially after that Big rock. Reggie rock. Get that. I love that. She's so fucking cute. Oh my god, is this the first floor? I mean, the first, like, round. We're on floor 5 of 17. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's absurd. Please. Oh no, there's another wave. I was hoping that was the last wave. You know, because it took so long. It took three minutes. I've not been to fucking Pardo shop once. God, I miss Pardo. Oh, she's such a good character. Oh, she's so cute and sweet and innocent and deserved better. But she didn't get better. You know what? Maybe she's alive. That's a possibility. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. She went to the moon. She went to the moon. She was on... Kevin was also on the moon, though. Kevin. He was on the moon. 
I think he's one of the few that didn't die on the moon. Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Oh, how I miss you. That's exactly why I bought those, um, 160 or whatever earbuds that are wireless that have Alicia's signet on and Alicia's face on the box and I have it displayed on my bookshelf with all of my gay manga because I'm so gay for that woman that I cannot restrain it. Oh, I'm in old. I didn't think I was. Honestly. Bit of a... My bad. My bad, but... You know... I can't choose when I'm right and wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's why I can't choose right and wrong. Not right and wrong. What was I saying? I have... I have, like, short-term memory loss. Maybe. I have some sort of memory too. Hog. Alt again. Because holy shit. This is so difficult. What's this bomb? <laughs> Burger King foot ladder. <laughs> Fat fungus. Burger King burger. The last thing you want on your Burger King burger is. Oh fuck! I forgot what he said. Foot lettuce. Oh, let's play it again and see, shall we? Number fifteen. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you want on your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus. Is somebody's foot fungus? It's fungus. Fungi? Physical breach? Yes, please. I need that for my, um, alt. Why did I- why did I take the heal? I need to lose HP. That's literally what I need to do. Okay. More Kalpas. I really should have saved before going to the shop. Okay, Kevin. I hope that that signet helps a lot. Because if it doesn't, I'm gonna eat your liver. In the story, because that's what's coming up soon, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you soon, Kevin. Maybe. I don't know if that's soon, actually. Big rock. Reggie rock. Oh. Reggie cock. <laughs> Look at that blood boil shield go up. Look at Kalpas. Heal me. I don't know what blood boil does. Deal damage to me, bitches. I need it. Like, honestly, can they not just help a girl out and beat the shit out of her? Like, choke me. Come on. I'm asking for it. Thank you. You barely did- you did no damage to me. That hit literally did no damage to me. What- what are you playing at? Are you being sillies? Are you being little sillies? Am I gonna see you on my trans fam slideshows on TikTok because you're being that silly? Eh? 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 Am I right? 
Am I correct in assuming you're going to be on my next Transform Fly Trap? You little silly. Ow, I just fucking kicked something with my foot. That's the only thing you can kick something with, bitch. That is literally... I'm, I'm using this controller with one hand right now. Um, that's that's the only way you can kick someone. Why did I assume that I could kick someone with my fucking ass or something? I can kick someone's ass. I can kick someone's balls. That'd be fun. That would be quite fun, actually. I'd love to do that. But, um, I can't kick with my hand or my ass. Or soon to be inverted balls. <laughs> inverted balls. Oh my god, that is the most horrific phrase for bomb surgery I've ever come up with. Inverted balls. Yeah, watch out for me. I'll invert your balls. <laughs> Watch out for an inverted ball sack. And penis together in one. Two in one. Invert them both today. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna have to end stream before I finish this shit. I've got like half an hour. No, I've got like 20 minutes. <laughs> I've got 20 minutes to do this before I've got to end stream and eat. So long. Would it have took this long with me? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever actually done Inferno before now that I'm playing this. Like, I know that I've gone on to higher difficulties before and tried them as me, but I don't know if I've actually done Inferno before because this is so hard. I don't think any of my characters are ready for this. But also, she doesn't have the best weapon level right now, so that could be the problem. Like, maybe if I didn't swap out her weapon for this one that's kind of weaker, but will be a lot stronger in the future. Because she was at a thousand damage before, and now she's at 940 or something. And I was thinking that because it's her special weapon, like it's designed for her, so I assumed it'd be like just better overall anyway. Like with abilities and such, but I don't know. Because it's just got that one button and I don't know what that fucking ability does, because I haven't bothered to read it enough. I think it just boosts your damage. Could be wrong. I think it just boosts your damage. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Like, that was a surprise, a lot of damage. Like, it came out of nowhere. So maybe it does. Maybe it takes in the damage that you dish out. No, because that amount of damage just went out again, and I didn't use it. I was gonna theorize that maybe you activate it, you do a certain amount of damage, or, or like damage over a certain time frame and then it takes that damage and amplifies it by a certain amount to um make it cool I guess but it doesn't do that. I was completely wrong. Alt.
How to the yes. I love this game so much. It's it's probably definitely in my top three. I don't know if it's my number one game, because Celeste exists, and also Honkai Star Rail exists, and I don't know what else other game could compete with those two. Honestly, like, I love Valorant. It's a good game. Um, don't know if it competes with these two. I can't think of any other games that I'd put in my top. So I guess Valorant goes there by default. But, you know, it's not... It's not perfect, Valorant. And I could definitely, um... Find a better game if I tried. I could open my Steam on my phone right now and I might find a better game. Like, oh, let's let's give it a... What the fuck? Why is my... What, what the hell's up with my controller? What's happening? Why am I just running? Oh my god, this controller's broke. Oh my god. How the hell did that even happen? Like, it's lucky that, like, attacks stop your movement. Like, why? Why is that happening? Like, I'm genuine. I'm not touching the fucking moving button right now. I'm just moving. This fucking controller's just broke on me. And I've not even done it. I didn't even do it to break it. That is the most confusing thing that's ever happened to me. Maybe I should fucking plug in a PS3 controller. Probably has more durability. I'd rather have fucking Nintendo Switch Joy-Con drift than it just taking it over altogether and not being able to use it at all. Because that's what it is right now, I can't use that stick whatsoever. Oh my god, I can use it again. What the hell happened there? So weird. Did I just get hacked? Well, why would I? Maybe there is something wrong with my controller. I don't know. How do you check for that sort of stuff? With malware? Like, who would want to just take over my Genshin, I mean Honkai, and just move me? Like, what would the- what- what even would be the point of that? It would make zero sense. Like, it also doesn't make sense that the controller stopped working and then just started again. Like, surely it'd just break. Or maybe it was the, a programming error? Maybe it was a glitch? I'm just immensely confused. I'm still at 7.17. Was I at 5 before? I can't tell. Time is blending together like a stack of pancakes with golden syrup on. Again. Love all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
fucking big damage in. Why did I skip over two? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna la, 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 get that all. Why did I skip over two again? Why do I click the triangle twice? I have. Oh my god, I did it again. Is it me? Is it me or is is my fucking controller? It is me. I'm just having brain lag, and that brain lag is making me click it twice. Big rock. <laughs> Let's wait for big rock, big rock, where's big rock? Big rock, big rock, big rock, big rock. <laughs> we love big rock here. Not the rock, just big rock. Apparently the rock is a bit of a freak. Bit of a freaky guy, freaky deaky guy. Why? Why do I keep on clicking? I just clicked it three times. On accident. I just clicked it twice on accident. Once. There we go. Once. Whole triangle. What is up with my brain? What's with the double tapping? I'm not playing a zombie game. I don't need to double tap. This isn't the walking dead. This isn't the walking virgin watcher. <laughs> I say that as a virgin. Disappointingly. <laughs> God, it's good to scream again. I've been really nervous to do it. But like, whether people come, whether people don't come, it's just fun to talk to yourself and be delusional for a bit. <laughs> and it's fun for when, when the occasional person drops by. Like earlier. That was great. I just love talking to people about things that I enjoy. And this game is something that I fucking love. I love this game so deeply in my soul that I just can't, I can't not get excited over it. Like back when I used to play Apex and that time, that time when I was playing Apex, I was talking to that person about like Attack on Titan and a bunch of different animes. That was like my longest stream I think. I think I went for like five Four or five hours, maybe. It was such a good stream. I had so much fun. My voice was sore after it. But it was so worth it. Because whether you get no viewers. Or whether you get one. Whether you get five. Like, at all of these points, it's still difficult to grow. Especially without external forces. But it's such a, just like, good feeling to meet someone in chat. No. Well, technically not meet them, but talk to someone in chat and just gush about your fucking favourite TV shows or anime or whatever the fuck you want to gush about and you just can. Because you know that you can find an audience that fucking loves the same shit you do and is as much of a nerd as you, as much of a weeb as you and knows, just doesn't know how to build a PC just like you because who the fuck knows how to build PCs, nerds. 
<laughs> oh. Fucking hell, this is taking ages. Oh, this is two minutes. I might be cut off here then, because this, this boss has a time limit. I forgot that the bosses have time limits, so this could have all been in vain. But guess what? We had fun along the way. And I'm gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> like, come on. Come on, I'm trying Agony for a reason. Because I want to beat Agony. I don't want to be in Agony. Please. This isn't Agony, this is Inferno. Agony is my fucking... Sea of Quanta fucking level. Oh, I hate that. Agony 2 permanently for the rest of my life because I'm not good enough to get out of Agony and I don't know how to build teams or characters. Obviously, I need a team full of shield breaks in, in this lineup. I don't know why it's so difficult for them just to have rotations of different types that's regular because every time I've gone to see a quanta, it's been something new. It's been like bleed, it's been lightning, it's been imaginary, it's been fire, it's been ice. Ice is evidently my best one somehow, even though I don't have Hersher of Reason's weapon, which makes her almost useless. I have Pardo, which is an amazing ice character. And I have Hacksaw Bunny, which I have almost triple S, which is cool. I don't have a weapon. I don't have any of the stigmatas. Stigmata, stigmata. I don't have anything for them, really. No, I don't have anything for any of my ice characters, but they're my best team. For my Electro, my Electro is the worst, even though I have Her Hersher of Thunder. Or lightning or whatever. And I have the fucking Hersher of Origin weapon on her, which I thought would have been really good on her, because it's a really good character. But it's just decent, and I don't have a special because the special is meant for Hersher of Origin. And Hersher of Origin only. Which makes it a bit of a pain in the ass. But, you know, I, I have to deal with it. And I can deal with it. Oh, eight seconds and I haven't even got past the first half bar. Is that the first half bar? I can't tell. I can't remember. Well, that was an immense waste of time. But now I know I shouldn't use... Senti. And I've also unlocked some side story that I didn't do because I was in a rush to finish this. I was in a rush to finish the story. Like, as you can see, I've completed 100% of chapter 3, 92% of that, and 90% of that. I only got 100% of that. Because the main story was here, and I was going through it all, and I was skipping through a bunch of dialogue from the special stories, which I do do here too, but I want my gems. About <laughs> Feng Huang Dao. I did no not know that's how he said it, but I'm actually kind of curious about this. Active? Wait, Kevin has it. Who hang down? Thing hang down. <laughs> I love Alicia so much. She's such a fucking dork. Eden, gay queen. Sorrowful. She had a dark life. Sakura is great. I just wish her battle suits were. Her battle suits are trash. Shit. 
abhorrent. Kevin was a fucking edgy bitch. When he was in school, he was just a guy with a crush. And now he's trying to fucking kill the human race. <laughs> and turn them into fucking force ghosts. Look at him. Look at that little cock. Force ghost cock. Look at this dude. Chad. Chad versus cock. <laughs> Chad, a post Honkai Odyssey main character versus cock. Kevin Kazlana. No, he's not that bad. He has his reasons for trying to turn everyone into force ghosts against their will. Modules. Oh, I need to upgrade these more. God, these skill trees are such a pain in the ass. Like, I've got 25 on her. 41 on her. Guess why? They have specific character requirements to level up. They have they have these little character specific upgrade point thingies. And that. So you've got to get these like crystals. Then you've got to get these regulators for specific characters. And it's just like, oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why is this so like hard to get all of the fucking upgrades? Because Because you've got to you get you mainly get them through tasks. But you get like three a week. Oh? No, it's just a it's just a hair colour. Senpai <laughs> 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 Adoption, aren't related, genetic mutation. <laughs> I'm going to say adopted. Wait, what did she just say? There's no way that brown and red makes black. Did Welt and Himeko have a relationship that I didn't know about? Like, I knew she was bi, bisexual queen, but she she had a relationship with Welt, the Welt. Oh, nothing for Welt. Nothing for me, nothing for me, and my little gay ass. Actually, maybe there is. Oh, Acts of Carol 2. Cool. Epic. Oh, shit, I've got to end stream soon. I'll do this first. Oh, this is going to be boring as fuck. Okay, I'm I'm going to end here while looking at, at this cute lesbian. Let's get let's get a close up shot of this this lesbian whose wife slash girlfriend is on the moon. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? I can't see the moon. Her, her girlfriend slash wife is on the moon, and she may never see her again. Probably well, because I think there's an, a post-Honkai Odyssey model for her, or at least character design, anyway. 
Please let my fucking toggles work now. My toggles aren't working. Why aren't they working? They worked. It worked. It took. It, 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 it worked because I closed the game now. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. I am going to raid. Oh, Sammy. Because this gay little, this gay little twerp deserves a raid. This cringe little gay, gay twerp. So I'm going to start the raid. Have fun on the raid. Three, two, one. Ready now. I'm going to raid this gay little ass. This little gay. This little gay little gay. This little gay cringe bottom. Yeah, that's that's the words I'm going to use. Cringe gay bottom. That's what she is. She's a cringe gay bottom. Cringe gay bottom. That's what she is. Adios. Peace.